Before we get straight into today's episode of Hypixel Skyblock, if this video reaches 500 likes, I will make a video about the aspect of the Jerry Sword and trying to max it out. I don't, I didn't know if uh, this is something that I should do. I might have to though if enough people show some support on it. So if this video gets 500 likes, that should be coming tomorrow then, assuming it hits 500 likes before the day is up. But uh, yeah, also subscribe channel if you guys are new around here. We just passed 28,000 subscribers. YouTube rank is less than 2,000 subs away. I'm beyond excited. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's episode. Would you be the preacher? Would you be my? Yeah. The done, the done, done. I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is your boy Zach Plays AM. Before we get too far, I do want to say thank you so much to everyone who checked out the stream I did yesterday. And I'm not sure if I was able to do one the day you guys are seeing this, but I might have done one earlier in the morning based on how uh, how much better I'm feeling. I've been feeling really stuffy the last few days, so voice is a little stuffy my ears are all clogged my nose it, it's gross it's gross but i streamed for about an hour the day i'm recording this hour and a half and uh, you guys are amazing thank you so much for all the support we, i think we peaked to like 375 viewers so that's also amazing anyways that's not what you're here to, uh, to hear about we are going to be talking about the new update that just dropped version 0.7.1 so it's a mini update kind of tying us over until they're able to fully release the big content update that we're expected to see in about less than two weeks time about a week and a half from now that is the estimated date of arrival and we're all really excited for it but in today's episode they added uh well in this update they add a few interesting things and we're gonna be focusing on one in particular i think it's actually really something this that was very needed and very requested so that's really exciting so without further ado let's jump straight into today's episode of hypixel skyblock since the game has been out inside the leather collection at about level three of leather once you've collected 250 you unlock a recipe for a small backpack so they also changed the textures on the backpack and um, as you can see it's quite easy to craft it's a stack and a half of regular leather and it gets you a small backpack that has nine storage slots so like that would be equivalent of one row of your inventory and uh, it's actually really interesting then they added or like a part of this is then you can also get a medium backpack which is a small backpack surrounded by eight stacks of leather turns into a medium one i have a few of those myself 18 slots two rows in your inventory um they also added at the very beginning a large backpack which i think you can get where we're going with this which is three rows in your inventory so it's the size of a small chest and as you can see it costs um 16 enchanted leather around a medium backpack to craft then uh in this update they actually added a number 10 slot so this is a greater backpack it has 36 storage slots and you need uh this is 32 enchanted leather around a large backpack and then you have was equivalent of a full inventory worth of space so very interesting stuff there that's not the only thing they changed with backpacks though i mean they also changed the texture and honestly in my opinion i think it looks way better now um yeah they're nice and clean you know little little tiny things but they also added the ability to color code them so we're going to be taking a look at that today i have a bunch of dyes gathered that we're going to be testing out um a few different colors um I th yeah this is just a super needed feature i mean i mix up my backpacks all the time so obviously i want to get a red one going all you need to do is just put eight of the respected dye of the color that you want to dye it and uh oh i don't know which one i want to dye i guess i'll just dye this one so now we have a medium backpack that is red we have a red medium backpack which is super cool um yeah just super easy to like track them now that is so convenient i want to make one of these pink i think it's the one uh oh i think that's the one i just made red it's the one i just made red it's the one with all the cakes okay the cake one will be red uh this one can be we'll make this one blue there seems like there's a lot of blue stuff in here we'll actually make it light blue why not i have the i have the stuff on me may as well okay there we go there's a light blue dye medium backpack and there we go that is so cool and then uh oh what's inside this one okay i'm gonna make this one yeah orange orange yeah we're gonna go for orange um okay i put one too many flowers there but it's okay i mean fixed there we go so now we have eight orange dye and this is so cool and you guys get the gist basically you can dye up to as many colors as you guys want have as many backpacks as you want it's amazing extra storage i use them all the time they're just they're just 
easy like it's just easy storage so now that they're color coded i'm actually going to be able to find which one i was trying to put stuff into or what i had in which one and honestly i need to clean these out and probably upgrade them to some large backpacks so yeah that's really exciting also something that you guys should know is uh a lot of people are wondering if this is possible but when you go to upgrade a backpack the items that are inside the backpack stay inside the backpack so that is just a little heads up a little uh fun fact if you didn't already know that about the backpacks and that system so yeah that's really interesting uh, a lot of you guys might be new to the server and probably wondering where the hell do i get flowers flowers where do i get them besides having to go and spend a fortune on the flower minion and uh yeah it's actually really simple so i'm gonna run over there right now super easy spot and uh you can have all the flowers you want in the world so once you're here at spawn, you're going to want to make a U-turn, and you're going to want to turn around and go back here, past the little vendors, and you guys are going to see all these flowers over here right next to a painter shop. This is also where I get those custom images around my island, so like these, for example. That's where you get these. Uh, they're super clean. Honestly, I love the look of them. And yeah, so Marco the painter, but outside, he has a huge patch of flowers, and so if you come with, if you come with anything, well, you can break them with your hand. I use my sword, though, because I have telekinesis on it, and it will not break. So that way it just goes to my inventory and I don't lose any if anyone's running by or I just don't see any and I forget to pick them up. So yeah, uh, it is kind of annoying trying to locate their hitboxes, but hey, once you do that, then you should be fine. Unlimited flowers and uh, they have one of these little spawning crystal things, so it'll just keep on respawning them. And yeah, it's super easy. I mean, you just run back and forth. You break all the flowers. You can change lobbies if you want. Not too many people are flower farming at spawn. So yeah, if you just change lobbies, then you're going to come across all new flowers. And I'm sorry if this is really loud. I haven't even taken that into account, really, how high my game sounds are for these flowers breaking. But yeah, there we go. We just got a bunch of flowers for free. We can just bring them back to the island, turn them into whatever dye we want, and dye our backpacks uh, and yeah, as much as we want. So that is really exciting and honestly, a very needed feature, and I'm really excited that they added that. There's another really cool feature that not a lot of people know about. It was kind of hidden in the patch notes, so I'm going to go over there right now. This is related to auction houses, and I think it's just really good features that they changed and quality of life updates. So here we are in lobby one. It's always packed, and as you can see, let's just say there's people around the auction master. Not as many as usually during the main daytime because it is pretty late at night right now, but I, I know there's always like people who are jumping inside the auction master like this, and it gets super annoying. So now, even when you're far out here, you're anywhere, or I think you have to be within a range, but if you just right click, it goes right through all these people. I don't have to deal with them. Okay, it's making me deal with that guy. But yeah, so I think it's if... Okay, maybe I'm not looking at him properly. I think you guys get the gist, though. It kind of like bypass... Like, if I'm up close here, it bypasses through everything and kind of just goes for him. Uh, most of the time, I mean, it's still... It's not perfect, but as you can see, I'm standing right behind this guy, and it's going right through. So that is super handy. Um, they also updated it so that, like, the most interesting auctions are displayed in here now. So, like... I don't know why this one's up there or this, but like it basically got rid of the huge people who are just trying to put dirt and a bunch of other random items as number one. Apparently, Tommy's in the, in the lobby. Wait, Tommy doesn't have YouTube rank yet? Oh man, they haven't even got to him yet. That is a bummer. Okay, yeah. I hope he gets it. Got school in five minutes. Oh, jeez. Um, what is... I don't need this. Anyways, so yeah, that's a really cool feature. Another thing they added with the auction house is auction statistics. So as you can see, it's in the bottom right right there. And there's buyer stats, which is basically the items that you are selling. And then there's seller stats, which are the items that you're buying. So kind of reverse there. Uh, kind of strange. Yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, so it shows like how much gold you've made off of auction houses, different uh, rarity of items that you've sold. And then same with the seller stats, basically what you've bought, how much gold you've spent, highest bid, um, total bids, auctions won. Auctions created, auctions ended with bids on them. It's really interesting and it just breaks down everything that you've done in the auction house here on the server. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy and you want to hear more about the update, because there are more things that were added, hint, hint, Jerry, but that's all I'll say. If you haven't seen videos on it already, I might have to make one tomorrow. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll make a follow-up basically showing off every other cool feature that is in the update. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. See you guys there. Bye.